if you need something for the holidays and you're getting stuck in a rut, a lot of people get stuck in a rut. They keep drinking the same thing over and over again. And like, because of COVID, you, it's not like you're going to tastings a lot at different retail stores or restaurants and things of that sort. So um, here are some really good recommendations. So first one I have, is a white wine from France. It's actually from the Languedoc Roussillon region of France. Ooh. And if you like if you like Pinot Grigio, if you're a Pinot Grigio fan, you're probably gonna love this wine. It's made from Grenache, Sauvignon, and Marsan. And so it's a medium bodied wine, kind of like Pinot Grigio is. So if you think of you know, white wine is skim milk, whole milk, and heavy cream. Like, this is kind of whole milk kind of area. And Ooh. just like Pinot Grigio, but it's got a lot of honeydew melon in the nose. you got some orange blossom and honeysuckle. So, yeah, so for Pinot Grigio lovers, um, they would actually really like this. And it's $12. Light enough, but it's got enough body that you don't feel like you're just drinking Drinking air. water. Right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, you can get it at Stadium Thriftway, and it's twelve dollars. And um, it's from the region. The grapes themselves are from the Languedoc Roussillon region in France, so southern France. Yeah. All right. So next we have the. We have a Chianti Classico. So these are perfect for the holidays. In my family, we're, you know, we're Italian, so we have a, a lot of lasagna, and we have a lot of different Italian foods. So what, one of the best foods, you, you know when they say they grow together, they go together. So in Italy, in Chianti, um, you've got this grape called Sangiovese. Sangiovese is the name of the grape that makes up this wine in Tuscany. And um, it goes, it's high in acidity, but you've got a lot of fresh red cherry flavor going on there. And because of that acid, you, when you, it cuts through mm. a lot of the, the fat and um, kind of the richness that you have in any kind of like bolognese sauce or a lasagna or something along those lines that prepares you for that next delicious bite. And what it does is makes that cherry flavor really pop on wow. the wine. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, that, that acidity is really bright. Oh, yeah. Um, and it, make, yeah, it brings out a lot of that cherry flavor. But also, whenever you have it with food, um, it really makes the flavor of the food pop, which is the reason why you add lemon to fish or you add lemon to <laughs> some different types yes. of cuisine. So that's exactly what um, this kind of wine does. It made, makes the flavors of everything that you eat pop, which is the reason why Chianti Classico is such a great food wine. Um, and here, this one you can get at um, Metropolitan Market and Hagen, and it's about $27. All right, so the Sangiovese, that, let's start the, talk about that one because that looks... So Sangiovese is the same grape in the last wine and instead of being on the west coast which is where Chianti Classico is in Italy this one is from the east coast it's from Molise and uh, this is about $13 a bottle so whereas the Chianti Classico you might get for the boss you know as a, a special gift for the holidays this one you bring to your family functions and your friends and you can eat you know open it up and it's kind of uh you know, has a high evaporation rate because you just keep drinking it and drinking it and drinking it. <laughs> but just like the other one, this one has also has some cherry, but it has a bit of darker cherry flavor, so like black cherry, and it's got more like chocolate notes in it as well. Yeah. So that can be really nice. But it's a little softer in its palate than the Chianti Classico. So that's why I was saying you can have it during aperitif and like during the meal as well. So They're both kind of in the middle. Like they're not too bold either way so they're perfect for everyone because you know some people like more of a strong wine some people like less this is the perfect wine i would bring to a party god willing we have them again <laughs> yes exactly otherwise i mean you, you have you never want to bring to a party as a host gift or as a gift to anybody that you don't know exactly their preference you're absolutely right yeah. you don't want to get something too thin and too light you don't want something too big and too bold like these are perfect middle of the road you know can't lose with these these choices 